Hello and good day everyone, my name is Sebastian. Welcome to the Novice Prospect. And today I'm starting something new. We are playing Space Engineers. And I'm going to actually try and make this a bit of a tutorial. Right, it's a bit of an open-ended series. Um, we're going to play modded. <clears throat> and the reason for that is because the mods I chose are mostly quality of life things, right? I have almost all the DLC except for Warfare 1, or I think is Warfare 1 I'm basic, or maybe 2, I'm not entirely sure, but you know, um, slowly gets the uh, gets the job done too, you know, I have to be aware of my finances and, you know, things like that. Anyways, let's jump into a new game, and so it's, it's a survival sandbox, think of it that way, um, in space or on a planet. Um, and you have to be a bit aware of um, Newtonian spaces, you know, like 3D spaces and how acceleration and that like works. Um, and it actually helps to maybe go and do some of these scenarios when you pick up first the game, right? When you first pick it up, honestly, just play, play maybe through the first jump. It gives you a good understanding, right? The, the other ones I have played learning to survive a little bit. Um, I have not played into the other... Into the other scenarios really because for me the sort of meat and bones of the game is a yeah a custom sandbox if you want right um and what i like to do is i like to start in the star system it sort of has the ability to have all of the uh, um, yeah all the planets are sort of there you know that you would expect in a yeah in a in a, in a solar system like ours so let's quickly name this and we're going to call it uh a space engineers i'm not sure if it's like this or not um i, I think it is um I, uh, I think it's a quite a funny title and it's a nod to obviously 2001 you know a space odyssey stanley kubrick brilliant movie if you haven't seen it definitely watch it it's a bit of a slog but it's it's worth it um, and so we're going to be in survival. I'm going to do this offline. I, I, I don't know anyone that plays this. I don't have many friends as it is. Um, I can always put it online if I needed to. Let's look at the mods that we're going to have in this save game. Not all of these are going actually in. Um, we don't need advanced welding. At the moment, we don't really need it, right? I'm doing automatic or pickup just because quality of life stops me mashing the F button like a maniac. Build vision is absolutely fantastic. It's an, almost an essential, I would say. Um, and I'll explain in game what it does, right? So we're gonna take it. Build info gives just extra information about blocks when we look at them. Um, and then just for sort of eye candy, bit of colorful HUD and bullet trails, colorful icons, yes, no the colorful rendering, I don't really like it. I thought I would like it, but no, it's a bit too much. Um, we shan't need dynamic wheel friction because we're going to be using scripts and I have a programmable block script that we can use for that. Not mine. Um, all credit there goes to Izzy. But um, we're not also going to be playing with wolves or spiders, to be honest, because, you know, if I do this right, this is going to be complicated enough, so we don't need Earth-like animals. It gives you things like deer and that. Um, it's 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 a nice quality of life and, and sort of visual add-on. Um, easy block renaming? Yes, please. You can select multiple blocks, rename them all at the same time. Um, don't need energy shields. Give me that font. Um, hostile takeover. Um, what this allows us to do is to approach a facility and easily uh, make out basically the facilities that we need to take down to, yeah, take over the whole facility. Uh, hard compass, just because I like to know how I orient myself. Lightning rod. It's a nice to have, you know. Um, I, I would call it quality of life, um, but I also like the fact that it's sort of looks really nice uh, on a ship. Milky Way Skybox, insane resolution, eye candy. Uh, if your computer can support it, install it. If, if it doesn't, just don't bother. It doesn't add anything. More pistons, um, because you get um, you get pistons, but there is also a piston that fits in a smaller space with this more pistons mod, right? Not about build and repair system, because I am lazy. All right, so, and 
the way I'm going to set this up is that it won't build anything that we don't know yet. So we're going to keep progression enabled, right? And we're going to get into that. Um, I normally space engineers is limited to 100 meters per second as a hard limited, uh, as a hard limit. Um, I, I don't quite like that. So we're going to have no speed limit. Although I don't agree with the approach it takes, like setting this speed of light above the limit of speed of light. Like it seems a bit contradictive, but it's fine. Um, quality of life uh, vanilla rebalance makes the tools a bit better that we have. So we're going to add that. Oh, but don't need this, right? It's it's a quality of life in terms of making small blocks easier to build. But I want to keep it blockwise fairly basic, except for maybe one or two, which is in this case a nanobot built and repair system. And I think that's actually the only extra block we have from what I can see, right? Anyways, smarter suit. Make sure the smart the, 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 the suit helmet is closed when you enter a hostile environment. You know, just sort of life saving little quality of life things. Space just got real less dark nights. So the original mod is space just got real. And it's really, really dark. Less dark is not as bad, so we're going to enable it. And I hope that YouTube will let me get away with it, right? Um because uh, it doesn't like dark pictures in general like the compression plays havoc with it anyways into the advanced settings now here's two settings I, I know people will consider as cheaty I am enabling them to make the game less grindy for the stream okay we're gonna have a huge inventory size blocks we can leave not so worried about that um, grinding welding we can no, I'm, I'm going to leave it as it is, right? Um, refinery assembler speeds, they can all stay the same. It's really sort of the character, the, the inventory size. Okay. Um, grinding speed. Uh, we can, and really, we can leave all this. This is fine, right? I like the sound to be re realistic, meaning if there is no air, you know, in a, in a vacuum, the only sounds you hear are the ones transmitted through your suit. Whereas in arcade you would still hear a ship and everything. So I like that, right? Um, what else? I'm quickly just looking if there's anything I need to be aware of. Um, so one, one of the big ones is for us, we want to enable in-game scripts. And so the reason this is normally disabled is because normally when you play online and, and you may have a server running, you may not want unknown people to have script access, right? It, they can just do horrendous things to your FPS and, and sort of server performance. So this is why it's normally generally disabled, but we're playing single player. So yeah, let's go for that, right? Um, then the other one is because it's really annoying for me and we're going to cheat them in. I'm going to say we don't spawn with tools, right? Um, and I will then just cheat in a single set of tools for us. Um, and it'll be the beginner tools, you know, we're not going to cheat up to the best quality tools and all, we're going to start at the beginning. Um, I'm not going to enable spectator, we're going to do this, you know, as vanilla as we can, you know, um, to a degree. Um, talking about wolves and spiders, so they're disabled by default as well. Um, yeah, enable drones is fine and we want to make sure this progression is enabled, so everything is fine. Also, big piece of advice, if you have a controller connected, disconnect it now. If you're playing with mouse and keyboard, which I would recommend um, on the PC anyways, um, because there's a little, I wouldn't call it a bug, it's a bit of a UI thing where you can properly close scripting surfaces or interfaces when the controller is connected, even though you're playing mouse and keyboard, right? Um, and so this aim assist is actually aimed at gamepad controllers. Right, and we are basically good to go. Right, I'm gonna go and hit start. It's gonna go and make sure that all the mods are there. It's gonna generate a world, and then it's gonna ask us where we're gonna spawn. And I'm going to just say that the only reason I'm going to Earth is because I sort of know that all the resources I need are sort of fairly close at hand. Um, 
and we don't really have to worry so much about oxygen we really just have to worry about hydrogen for our jetpack and so any ice that we do get um which may or may not be rare depending on where we where we spawn on earth um you know we don't need a lot of ice to actually get you know our uh, jetpack button moving um but you know i have played games starting out in space you know with nothing but the drop pod uh, i've started on the out on the moon all those are viable starts they may or may not be more difficult i, I to be quite honest uh, once you actually understand the game the difficulty is really only then defined through rareness of resources and maybe the environment right so look, let's look at that if i said earth like you know it's difficulty easy it says oxygen 90 planet gravity 1g so it takes normal effort to get off the planet if you want to go into space they say this is hard because there's no oxygen you do however start in a rover you know which may or may not be something you want to do uh titan normal drop pod it's hard because no oxygen not really once you find ice you're fine you know um you can lot find this space pod and if you've played the learning to survive um so, uh, scenario then this thing will be very familiar because it's literally docked right there um you can just spawn in a space in space somewhere you know i mean good luck to you traveler especially since we have no tools available um but you know what it's, it's an option um and there's different planets triton Pertam, Mar mars europa and alien planet um we hopefully eventually will be visiting them all but not today let's let's get started now we're gonna say we're gonna start on earth right and then what you want to do is you want to go and hit respawn okay um first off very important button is the v button um because it allows you to change your camera right at the beginning when you spawn into your drop pod like so because you, you can't really see much you're in the pod and that's it so if you hit v yes um you can see where we land actually this seems this seems like a good enough environment and i should have probably looked around for resources but the truth is i'm half colorblind and so i i can never see this button unless i use no 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 don't yes write yourself please uh, I'm, I'm not a fan i'm, I'm really not a fan yeah. So first person work. Let's can we maybe just I don't know. So movement mouse, you know a uh, a s d and w. You know the usual movement keys. Um, X is for your jetpack. And if the dampness are on, you will remain in place. When your dampness are off, you have to actually put in effort to right in yourself like i have to constantly now hit space to sort of keep a level but it, it uses a lot more fuel so you may want to use dampness right and then with x you just turn that off again i'm going to try and this may or may not kill me we'll see oh i think it's locked into something there huh you. Okay. We have a bit of a wonky start, but it's fine actually. It's not game breaking. Um, and as a matter of fact, I have starts where the pod just keeps tumbling and tumbling and tumbling and tumbling. Right? And it's frustrating because you can lose materials, especially when you lose one of these thrusters. Um, which, you know, talking of which, we need to go and spawn in tools. One of the first menus you want, even as a beginner, you know, um, because it's going to make your life easier to just play around and then have fun. You want to hit Alt F10, brings up this menu, right? It's the admin tools. And you can see, you know, enable creative, creative mode tools, which means that you can just place blocks and they're fully built. Right? And you can just play around with that. Um, we need it for another reason, because after we've done that, we hit Escape to close this, and then we hit Shift F10. And that gives us the spawn menu. 
right? And there is literally, um, uh, I don't even know what, what they're called. Just welder spawn, right? Um, can I just have it? Thank you. Right, okay, so you have to then left click with the mouse to drop it and then pick out the plant line. So there was a welder. We need a grinder, right? So we're going to spawn one of them. And drop it down and pick it up. Nice. And then, last but not least, we're going to need a drill. Right, why am I not seeing that? Ah, it's a hand drill, that's why it's called what's called right there hand drill spawn object dump it down and there we go we have a basic set of tools right and you see a quick bar at the, a quick bar at the bottom one spawns the welder and then the grinding disc and then the mining and then the blocks after that are actual blocks to place we're not going to place anything because we're creative and with zero you empty hand so you can just look at blocks again nice now alt f10 remember to go and we're going to disable this i don't want to right but do this right we don't need creative ever again the only reason i've done that is because every time i spawn you get spawned with the basic set of tools even though you may already have some on your body right and by that time you should be actually able to yeah put something together yourself um the only annoying thing and i'm going to have to grind this off I need this to fall. I need this to fall. That is better. Reach this now? Yes. So, let's talk about the blocks that are coming with the ship, right? Ignore the thrusters. They have no power really to go and take us anywhere. We have no control here. It's fine. This thing will have to actually despawn if we make our own spawn point. Anyways, in here we have our H2O2 or O2H2 generator. And basically what it does, it takes ice and makes it into hydrogen and oxygen right you then take a bottle into your inventory and you have not just your actual suit inventory but you have an extra bottle of each um as i say we're on planet earth so i don't need to worry about the oxygen bottle it can go just straight back in and to refill a bottle you can go and let's go and i'm just going to go and fly around for a little second Because I would now expect that if I look in here, that please refill yourself from the bottle, maybe. Am I going to do a quick circle? I want to really burn the ball or get the suit empty so it actually takes some other ball. And here's a problem. So if you're not aware, 200 meters per second, and it, it takes a while to slow down. Right? If you accelerate too much, then it's going to take a lot of effort to slow down that same acceleration. Right? But point to be made right now, we have this inventory here for the H O2 H2. And now if you hit I, you can open that to inventory. And you see we have only got 88% left in our hydrogen bottle. Just dump it in here and boom takes six pieces of ice it's gone and refilled that and there you go okay that is basically all there's to it then we have a few components because we've just ground off the landing wheels and i'm going to actually try and try and straighten this out a bit more so basically when you grind something down and you, you go over, for example, this landing gear is not locked, it's, I call it blue, I don't know, um, and this one's locked and I think that's green. And, and so you can see what the components are in it. It's steel plate, it's a motor, it's five construction components and a steel plate. Right, but I like this more if you were to settle. You don't right just go and settle down for me thank you I'll, i like this a bit more right 
Okay, next steps. Now we've got our pod on a reasonable access. We want to go and see if there's any resources about, right? And we have an ore detector on board. A thing right in the middle of the screen, right? And to the right, you see the antenna, right? Cool. Hit K for the control panel. And the first thing we're going to do is tell the ore detector we're going to go and bump that range up. And we're obviously telling also to use antennas, right? Then the antenna, I'm going to tell it to say, let's go up to two kilometers. So that's 2,000 meters. <clears throat> right? Done. And we should hopefully, if there is any resources to be had around us, which there may well not be, right? Not an issue if there's not. And there's, there's always a, a way to get started. That's, that's the beauty of this game, right? Um, this is actually a nice flat area up here. So what I would like to do, I, I would like to start building a base. We're going to need power. Sort of our, one of our first things, right? And to get access to the quick bar and change things on it, is one of the first things you want to, going to want to learn is you hit G. Right? And then you can say we're going to right click a certain icon, uh, item and it's just going to go and disappear. And the reason I don't want solar to be honest with you is because it's, well, it's dependent on the night day night cycle. Right? I, I would rather use wind turbines. Um, cool. We don't need landing gear in here as well at the moment. Okay. We have blocks. What's this? A basic assembler, basic refinery. That's all cool. Um, Trying to think, do we have, we probably don't have the resources for a battery, but we should have the resources for a cargo container, for sure. Right, and no, no, but we don't, we're not going to place it just yet. We're going to build a basic infrastructure, right? We have some steel plate on us. This is why the outline is, I think, green instead of red. Now, if it was red, like if you're in the way or if you don't have the resources, you can't even place the outline block. Um, before you've placed the first block and you've sort of decided on your, dis your, your, you know, your where you want to be, your destination, whatever, um, you hit B to align the block with gravity, right? And I would like to see if I can do this. So you hit four to make it a small grid block, right? And that's a large grid block. Small grid is 0 0.5, sorry, um, yeah, 0 0.5 meters each face, right? So that's like 50 centimeters each face. No, yeah, five, 50 centimeters, right? Um, and a large grid block is two and a half meters on each face, right? We know it's gravity lined. I really want to align, oh, that's my fault, proper north-south alignment, right? This is our first block. Place it. Now you see, it's, well, it's not a block, it's just a sort of outline, because we need to actually feed in the materials, right? But we don't have that much steel plate. Well, let's have a look. Do we have steel plate in our inventory? Um, and so this is the other block. This is our survival kit. This is sort of really... Without this, we're lost, right? If we lose the survival kit, we, we can basically just respawn the game over at that stage for this character, or for this iteration of a character. To recharge all your bars down at the bottom, you hit F and hold it, right? That's what this monitor allows you to do. And we have an inventory. Okay, so this inventory doesn't have anything in it. What else do we have on the ship? We know we have a gun and some ammo and a GPS to somewhere. Um. We can't really travel anywhere. We know we don't have anything hostile within range at the moment, so we can leave those there. That's fine. Nice. That's it. Well, what do I do next? This here is your trusty friend, right? Literally, this this is this is your companion. Um, and I'm trying to figure out where I want to dig without it being too obvious. I've made a huge gaping hole into the. Into, ooh, I, I like. I like the fact that this is already so clear. Is this something, by the way? So when you take the, the drill out, the hand drill, it will actually show very close by resources. Right. But I, I like this spot. Um, and I think I'm going to use this 
shrub or whatever as a sort of yeah this is my my guide right and to use the hand roll there's two modes you can right click right and this is for right handed people by the way um or left click when you right click you're basically destroying voxels right that's what these blocks are called you'll see a small of them in a, in a second but with left click you're actually collecting them um you want to maybe start right here yeah let's let's make a hole here and so to make it a little bit easier what i like to do is hit c for crouching and then just make a hole with the right button so we're, we're literally just clearing away a hole and entry without collecting any of the material and you can now see the shape of the voxels that's these sharp lines right and they're basically volumetric pixels that's why they're called that um so but we're going a bit further down Right, and we're going to need a light, so hit L, and you can see those buttons on the bottom left, J for your um, suit to basically close the helmet, right? X is for the jetpack, and the way that works is space up, C is down, and be careful, you know, gentle does it, forward, backward, left, right, and then Q and E, right? That's basically how that works, so, and... We're gonna go back down into the hole and I try and figure out so we know the thing is there. I think we're gonna go a bit down. Yeah, this is actual rock that we can actually get something. And then the next thing I would like to do is to make a sort of try and Ramp, if you will. Something that allows us to sort of just, yeah, slope the weight gently out. Yeah, I think that is sort of gentle enough. Well, clean that up. But it's fine. Oh, unknown signal. Let's see. Where is it? It's about 3k away. Let's turn the light off. We don't need it. it takes it energy. And, and so you can see on the bottom left your four bars. First one's health. Second's uh, obviously your oxygen. Third one's your energy. And fourth one's your hydrogen for your jetpack. I am tempted to show you one of these guys. I, I am for the most going to ignore them. Um, although it does behoove you to go and visit them for loot. There's nothing dangerous about them. Um, they're never really oh, far away. I just about killed myself there. And we made it here before the thing even landed. Okay, nice. So, come on down. That's, this is nice. Right, and it's going to make this noise until we find. Gonna have to do it. Bump. So you just run into it with shift, basically sprint into it, and then hit F on that button. Special item. And we got glamour boots. A medical room. Yeah, we don't have one of those yet, but shoot. The next thing is we're gonna grind those blocks off. You know, and the, the reason I'm saying we're gonna ignore them for the most part is once you have your basic resources these are becoming more or less meaningless unless you're really into your um, apparel sort of changes yeah this is an unblock i was gonna say oh wait there's a zero light we're gonna grind off first right and so these bounding boxes can be a little bit obnoxious you know take your time to find out if that's the block that you wanted off and then Grind it off. Right, I know obviously uh, roughly how these are already made. Um, then we're gonna want this unblock off. We're gonna take that one off. Also, the button can come with us. This is all materials for us. You know, this is all stuff we don't have to craft right now. 
And when I say craft, I don't mean like Minecraft crafting. It's more of a thing. So there is an extra container always. Make sure you have access to its, um, you know, conveyor port, and then hit I to then get the uh, materials. Now the best way to do this: Control Shift and then click. It moves a thousand of an item at the time. Right, and that's space credits. You can buy things with that. Uh, construction components, and I think there was a motors in this. So grind this down. Uh, small battery we're taking with us for sure. Right. As I say, I'm just really after this because it saves me having to make all the steel plate myself. Nothing else in there, so we're going to take that with us. Boom. Okay, and we have nothing here. Let's go. And give it plenty of time to slow down as well as you're approaching your base. Because even at 100 meters a second, if you splat into the ground, that's it. And game over. Um, right, then we're going to go and deposit it stuff. Um, something could not be deposited, which is small steel tubes. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Not too concerned, realistically. Right, um, let's go and fill this bottle quickly. Thank you. And, yeah, so ice is a little bit of a problem in the biome that we're in. But, let's see, um, did I? No, we, we just made a hole. We, we didn't do anything else, right? Now let's get to actual mining. Um, it's no rhyme or reason to how to mine, you know, once you have found the resource, just grab it. Um, just in this case, all we're grabbing is stone, right? And you've got at the bottom, or uh, you've got a bar that's filling up. That is essentially your, well, not so much your encumbrance, it's your capacity, right? It's literally your carrying capacity on your ship. Um, it could also be on a ship, for example, that same bar could apply to containers. Um, then there could be a second bar on top of that for your drills, right? Um, but basically, that's all there is to it. It's just a matter of point and, and, and hold the mouse button. In this case now I'm holding the left mouse button to actually, you know, grab the material until I'm full. And when you're full, basically this happens. You know, you, you, you get bits of stone left over or whatever material you're picking up. Oh, 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 oh. slow down here. Um, zero, just to make that hand empty. And then, so, to with, uh, to with deposit all the components you have on you that are not, you know, actual usable, like, tools. Like these, you know, all you do is you hold the ALT button and you click your mouse wheel. You know, middle mouse button. Um, in this case it didn't empty at all because this container can only take so much. Right, now the next step. How do we get from stone to, well... These sort of things, right? This is the sort of thing we would need to go and make things like steel plate. Okay, um, you go into production on a survival kit, right? And if you have a larger grid where you have multiple things, you could then select different assemblers or a survival kit, right? And then we're gonna say, make me stone ingots. And in this case, I'm gonna be really lazy and say, go and just say, go and make me a thousand. Not gonna be able to make a thousand, but it's just gonna be there in a queue. In the production queue. And you can see now it's making gravel, it's making bits of iron ingots, bit of nickel, and a bit of silicon. These three ingredients you will always get from stone. Right? And this is how you can bootstrap yourself entirely. Right? So the build plan is empty, right? Let's let's now go and start start building something, right? For example, this block needs armor blocks, okay. And the steel plates, I mean. You can right-click this block. Now we have added something to the build planner. And I will explain this more as we go along, right? Now I can say, hey, I have things in my build planner, right? That's on the G button too, right down here. In this little corner, you see a build planner. And there's the light armor block. It says, well, we need 17 steel plates. Cool. Now, if I hit middle mouse button, as it just suggests in the tool tip there, to withdraw components. 
all components were withdrawn. Okay, awesome. Let's let's go and then build our first bit of my arm block. Oh, sorry, that was a bit of a lag spike. Um, and there you go, we've built a block. Right? Now we've said we need power. And if I try to now place another one of those blocks. Oh, wait, I don't have steel plate. Oh, okay. Let me ask a question. What you can do is you can place a block on your hand, right, to ready to place, and then point at the inventory in question. And now it's changed over because this is a small grid chip. It's changed over to a small grid block. Just hit four again, and it goes to a large grid block, even if you can't see it. And then you just hit middle mouse button. Can I withdraw that? Uh, well, I've withdrawn something, but it says I couldn't withdraw some of it. So we've got twelve. But we're still missing. Okay, we're missing... What's that? Uh, 8 plus 5, 13. Right? Well, we can put those into production. Just from here. We, we don't need to do, do anything. We hit the shift button, we hold it, and then middle mouse button. That puts those components that we've had in the build planner that we can't withdraw into, the, uh, into production. Right? And we can look at this from here. And you can see those, you know, steel plates being made. Um, well, saying we're missing some. Oh, okay. What does that mean? Just means it's probably need more stone. So let's go and feed it. Right. And this is literally all that you need to do to begin with. And if we now look in production, um, I like to do it this way. Put the gravel at the end. And then it'll basically produce whatever is lined up. And then if it's run out of the re resources, I'll just make more of these ingots from the stone. Right? Awesome. Well, go and place them. All components were successfully withdrawn. Is that true? Let's see. Is it? Like, it feels like it's not true. I Let me have a quick look. Oh, right. Okay, this is still from my old search. Okay, that's fine, because so we're still lacking some, right? Big block, middle click. Ooh, missing some steel plate, is that true? No, we have 25 on us. It's it's a little bit out of whack, but that's sort of my fault, it's fine. Um, but now we have the blocks, and we just place it, and we weld it. And there you go, there's a fully functional block. Right. For the next bit, what I'm going to do is we're not going to actually weld them all together to begin with. It's uh, it's a big old drain on resources to go through a survival kit. Right. What I will do is... Oh, I have more stone on me, I know. Oh, wrong button. Oh, I forgot the control button. Um, and then I'm going to tell you, just make me like... So if you hold shift and click it's 10, if you hold control and click it's 100. And if you hold control and shift, that's how it, got to, it goes to 1000. Um, see, oh no, it's not. Sorry, it's the other way around. Control is 10s. Yeah. Like so. Just make me... I'm going to eat more, I think. And then you can drag jobs together so they all get executed together in the same run of the queue. Um, I feel like we may want to go and just get a bit more strong. You know, just while it's making steel plates, you know, that's fine. And here's our entrance, and we have a little bit sitting there. And if you just hit F, you know, it'll pick it up anyways. Um, I, I don't feel I want to go too far into that direction just because I don't know what I'm going to do base-wise. So, we're going this direction. It's off on a tangent, if that makes sense. I'll make sure I'm sort of staying on the same level here. Yeah, that seems about right. Um, Oh, 
So yeah, this seems fine. All right, I'm gonna make sure not to. Yeah, I'll leave it there. And then if you're getting stuck stuck on like low ceilings, just you know hit the C button a sort of crouch it out. Um, and I would rather go deeper than go up to clear up the ceiling. Anyways, keep going. Oh, careful. Right, and then we're just gonna literally go and feed as much of this stone as we can. Um, I, don't, I should have just went for the hundred, to be honest. But it's fine. And then we're gonna grab that. And then you go and make, and can. No, I don't think that's what I wanted. Uh, inventory. Go and give me that steel plate, please. Right, we're gonna start building a little structure here. So that's, this is going to be our tower for wind, and it needs to be at least 10 blocks from ground. So this is our first block from ground, right? But I would like to go and maybe put a little bit of structure around it as well, so we can actually put a base down, you know, um, and I sort of like this direction. Right, and these blocks themselves, you you can now already place um, other things on top, and and they'll sort of all interconnect. Um, you know, it'll it'll do things like that already, so you, you can just plan it out as it were before you flesh out your actual welding torch. Um, and I know I'm gonna need more of the steel plates. So I'm just gonna grab it. I I never have enough in the last couple of runs. And I don't think... Oh wait, I, I forgot I have survival kit. Like that. Uh, no, actually click here and then just... So if you click a certain type of inventory, that's your target. Right? And then you can, from the other inventory, move your... Your items, as many as you need. Um, So I'm, I'm just sort of checking through the small cargo container. It has a few components, but we don't really have any use for them right now. Until such times that we're actually building. Well, I would imagine we'll start probably when the first windmill goes up. Um, and that's basically where I'm right now heading. That's literally our sort of next step. We need to supply energy to this grid. Right. And so the, the way space energy is normally and you can change this you can you can go into your where is it uh is it trash removal i think um you can see you know um certain grids don't get removed um there there, there, there is things for that is it in the end no I'm, I'm sure it was actually exactly here i'm sure it's a set in here that basically says that yeah you can see any stationary grids would not be deleted right but you know in itself i i think it makes sense to say now if i leave you if, if you leave something completely unpowered then yeah it should just after a while get despawned right you know and save games um get big as it is and you know it it's right one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the first block, and then we're gonna do this. I would like to weld this one up. Just because it's a bit of a pain to get to afterwards. Right, and this is sort of a standard structure I've seen a few times, and it seems to work, so I'm, I'm not even gonna question it. <clears throat> No, big block. Not withdraw. Make me more steel plate, please. Just this should be enough to just get this structure built like so. Awesome, right? Um, I should have. Uh, so yeah, didn't think that. Production cancel that and that. Right, this is fine. Uh, I want to know what resources we really need to build this. Windmill. 
the wind turbine. Right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're, you're, you're still talking about this. I, I'm not. Right, so we have something now that we can start to plonk down. Right there in the middle of that first block. Right, this is our first energize, uh, energy producing block. Right, we're going to need two more motors and 24 girders. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, and falling, you know, just on the ground like that does hurt and, you know, you can inflict damage and all that. So be careful what you do. Um, I, I... I need to look into something here quickly for a second. Production. Where is it? Girders. Is it these guys? And that's just iron. Well, that's fine. Um, and motors. It's just iron, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not a problem at all, right? You've got a bit more stone there. Right, we're gonna just go and feed that all in and we're just gonna go and empty our inventory as a matter of fact. Oh yeah, you, you, you can't be... that's fine. Um, I was going to... yeah, we're gonna... this is gonna be a thing. Right, you, you will find in the very beginning, you will find yourself a lot down here. Yeah, now we're going to have to come a little bit down here. Cut this box a little bit. And I'm all doing all this with left click anyways because, well, you know, this is all material I want anyways at the moment. Let's come back out of the hole. And so the reason I've put the ramp up is because I didn't see any ice nearby. And yeah, if we run out of ice before we, yeah, and you know, before we can get started, we wouldn't be able to get wind started really properly. But it's fine so far. I, I feel we are in a fairly good position, to be honest. Um, yeah, you do that. Um... I didn't put that in the build plan, I think. Right. Right, now I would need to see... Oh, yeah, yeah, see, it's... Let do this way, right. You seem to have done a bit much there. <coughs> and that is actually a, a bit of a me problem where I put too many things into the build planner and things like that, it's, yeah, just ignore me when you see it. <laughs> um, I still am a noob in this game, right? I make no mistake. Uh, the other people that I normally see playing this making tutorials, like Splitsy, like Kanajashi, uh, these guys have thousands of hours in this game, like, I'm, I'm lucky to even be able to do this after 85 hours, because it is that sort of game. Oh my goodness, like, my first 50 hours were atrocious, and in the last 30 hours, I would say Clang has visited me quite a few times, and I shall introduce you to Clang at some point, when that time comes. Um, um, and for those that know, you know, we shall all worship Clang and make sacrifices in the, <laughs> in the greatness of his <laughs> glory. What would you... I didn't pick this up, did I? Yeah, I, I didn't do the thing. And nearly there, we have wind going. Right, this grid's ours, it's not going anywhere anymore. Right, th this, this is already great news. Yes. Awesome. I like it. Um, we're going to need a lot more blocks, we're going to need a lot more space. We need space because, well, refineries, because assemblers, because storage, all the things. So let's maybe start with that. Um, I think we're going to need a, 
We're starting with a refinery, right? That's that's sort of the cannot withdraw the steel plate and the motors, and yeah, we're gonna put stuff into production, right? And then we're gonna have a look here at these blocks, right? And we're gonna just turn it here like so. You see these yellow blocks? That's our conveyor access, right? And there's only two on this block, right? Even if I was to look on the top, there is nothing there to connect us. So we have to be a little bit aware on, on how we place things, right? I don't intend to using many basic refineries, which is why I'm sort of placing it fairly close there, say, right? But place it, and then we are going to, yeah, feed it components, many components. Um, I wonder, do we have more? Yeah. Right? More, more, more things for you to feed from, and more things for for us to grab and feed into this monstrosity. Okay, and then this is all you do. You just force them back. Um, yeah, it's it's a little bit grindy. But because of the space we have available, it is a little less so, I shall say. Right. Um, and yeah, so I, I would like the components fired up as quickly as possible. So again, you know, drag your normal ingot making to the back of the queue so it only makes them sort of as and when required for the items it needs to make um this is all fine and you know in the meantime we could actually start grinding this thing down like realistically we're not going to need its services much longer so let's start there and I'm not saying this is the best order to cut down this whole thing, but it sort of leaves the meat of it intact, right? Like, we can't build batteries fully yet. There's, there's, there's a whole bunch of things that... We really want to make sure we have the blocks still before we can make them, you know, while we have them. So, the same as... I'm not going to touch the thrusters... We're going to need the materials, but I'm not going to touch it right now. Right, we're literally just running off anything that's sort of steel plate. Nothing else. Okay, please also give me the contents of this. Um, and I'm gonna say it right now, before you grind down this H O2 H2 generator, make sure you take the ice out, because if you, um, I'm, I'm not gonna just show it, right, I'm gonna, no, sorry that's my fault, that was, putting has been saved, oh, good for you, that's not what I wanted, F6, F6, thank you. Um, Alt F10 Admin Tools. I'm gonna just spawn in. Um, and you know, actually, just to make that point, right? I'm gonna take a thousand irons and we're gonna just spawn it there. Bam. Right? If you hold a grind on that, it disappears. Like, it usually does. Okay, uh, I, I I don't want this now. Shoot. Uh, no item. And we're gonna just let it roll off into the distance because it's not ours. It is not just ill-gotten gains, right? But the the point is, with a small amount, you hold the grinder too long, it's gone. And then you're really in a bit of a pickle. Right? So in general. Before you grind that inventory down, make sure you have emptied that inventory. Then when you get down to the last bits, do little cuts, like so, and just to make sure you're not grinding anything behind it, or you know, damaging stuff that you may still need. Uh, I want this gone. Right. Always needs more steel, steel plate. 
Absolutely, like this is one of the biggest things that you're gonna need for any, building anything. It's, it's a lot of steel plate, so iron is your best friend. Well, in the beginning, stone is your best friend, but I'm just glad we are not resorting to punching trees. Uh, I'm, I'm really, really happy with that. And then be careful when you're working at an angle as well, because you could easily point into another block that's literally right behind it or something, you know, like... It, it's a bit... It takes a bit of finesse to get to know and get to use... get used to. Um, but you, you find actually once you do, you, you can swing the grinder around fairly quickly and fairly competently and just take down structures like this. Um, right. More steel plate. I I'll, I'll like it for now. Right. Also, what did we... We didn't finish the whole thing, but that, that's fine. Um, sprint, 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 sprint. Go and feed that all in there, please. But you know, we can, you can see we've got the computers, we've got all the construction components already. Um, we're missing nine steel plate only to get it functional. You know, that's actually really good to be honest. Eat that stone in. One. There we go. And I'm just gonna watch this production quickly. Yeah, still quite a few bit of steel plate. Although I think because we've ground down so much we we're not gonna need all of it. But it's fine, you know. Um, I, I think you're attached there, aren't you? No, you're attached there as well. Okay. I'm going to be a little bit foolhardy and just bring more steel plate. Yeah, that one too. Careful. Careful. There we go. I've had this thing fall apart on me so many times, I'm always a bit scared of certain blocks. Um, you know, but I can, I can assure you, you will very quickly actually get to a stage where small grid stuff like this, you're not even going to bother grinding up. Like, except for maybe, you know, like, yeah, the thrusters and then, like, containers, things like that, but you're not going to worry about the steel plate. I mean, it's literally going to come out your ears if you do it right. Um, so I'll just feed more more components in, and okay, we're, we're missing nine more motors, and apparently we've come to a standstill, which just means one thing. Oh, Also, keep, keep an eye on your bars. Always keep an eye on those bars. You know, once we build better means to heal ourselves, this becomes all quicker too, you know, it's, um, it's, yeah, it's a pro progressive game in a lot of ways, actually. So, let's, you know, do the old minor dance. I, I like sort of spaces like this sometimes. Uh, one could build in here, you know, what could at, at least, yeah, one could hide at least things in here. And I'm just trying to pay a bit of attention to the voxels that are breaking apart in front of me. Okay, so apparently we've filled our inventory, which is fine. We, we have a sort of deep point where it's going to rest. Depending on how far it travels. Oh, now our first night time comes in. Um, but you know, unlike 
other games, it's not really a scary occurrence. It, it really isn't. Well, it can't be, but... Eh. We'll manage, we'll manage. You know, especially as I say, since we don't have anything really hostile going on. Are we... Yeah, we're still lined up properly there. Can we just put that together? Give me those motors first, actually. Because I think once we have those motors, we're functional. Um, and so, actually, let's let's look at that quickly. Uh, the eagle eye may have already spotted something there. So there's, there's two lines sometimes, right? One's called functional, one's hack. Once you're functional, um, all you're adding with the steel plate in this case is more structural integrity, right? Um, the hack line is what you need for say um opposing grids or you know um enemy grids to get below that line with your grinder and then repair it again to make it yours that's how that heck uh, hack mechanism works right um, just to sort of explain it and make clear how it works so let's there we go and we're literally just missing two more. And you can see that the resistance on the left hand side is literally just minus 1% because we're lacking those two pieces of steel plate. Um, yeah, take, take more strong. And I would imagine that within seconds we'll get those two. Right, I'm, I'm going to let it make the other ones as well because we're going to need them to expand our base. Right. But, well, would you look at that? We have our first refinery. Right? And here's the great thing with the refinery. Right? We actually have stone on us. Let's go and do that right now. Okay, um, a little bit higher. I'm going to clean that up maybe a little bit. You can literally just dump a whole load of stone in there and it'll just do its thing. There is, there is nothing to put into production. Anything you feed in it as an ore will just be automatically, well, yeah, smelted down, I, I suppose, or refined into its constituent components, right? So it's a little bit less work. You know, and that's, that's a great start. So I'm going to just quickly do one more run in here. Pick up, obviously, the strays that we have. Um, and I'm also going to fill the inventory one more time. There we go. That looks nice. Yeah, I thought so. And yeah, don't forget to uncrouch yourself to get back to normal walking speed. You know, that can be sometimes a thing where you're like, why am I not moving? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're, you're crouched. Easier visible when you do this. Um, well, not so much maybe in third person. Let me do that on a platform where you can easier see it. Uh, this you can make out, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely crouched, makes sense. Um, well, where am I going? Yeah, no, 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 no. Inventory. Your stone. All in there. Woohoo! And this is going to make our lives already a lot easier. Now we're going to need something else. We're going to need an assembler. Well, as luck would have it, we have something in our inventory that, you know, or not in our inventory, in our build bar, that performs that feature. Now, to move, um, you know, to, to sort of rotate blocks and that, there is a thing up there on the left on it's a little cube that sort of represents that but you have to enable it i'll show you right now game um rotation ends you want those enabled really it makes that life a little bit easier to know which way you're uh you know rotating 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 an item um, and the other one is you may want to disable good bot hints once you have a basic understanding of the game because there's nothing it really tells you afterwards. Um, and, oh yeah, by the way, I'm running experimental. Yes, I, I should have maybe mentioned that 
Maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, back to the business at hand. We, we want to build a basic assembler and we're that's the direction. Oh, wait, we don't have resources. Um, so let's won't remove you. Um, yeah. So I wonder how we're going to do this. We have components added to the build planner and we have enough to actually build the initial, right? Awesome. We're going to feed some components in. Um, but now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little shortcut. We're going to take all those refined materials and just feed them straight into the survival kit for now. It's the last few times that we need to do this. I promise. Um, right. And so while it's making the items that we want, and we can also basically tell it to... Um, yeah, go, go and cancel that. Right-click cancel these jobs, right? Um, okay. Um, in the meantime, because, you know, it's a resource run again. You know, with this refinery now running, we, we are running through stone a lot quicker. Oh, that was the effect of uh, space just got real. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really dark. Um because in this case it's not ambient lighting, so it makes sense for it to be entirely dark. You know. I want to sort of see if I can Yeah, I like that. Pick this up a bit. I like that, right? And then we're gonna come out. Ooh. Yeah, falling. About killing myself in the process, preferably. Um, and uh, we to you. We, 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 we shan't be refining materials through you. No, we shall not, sir. Right, and it's not gonna accept any building materials, so we don't really need to worry about that because it's a refinery. Um. And so we've withdrawn some materials and we're gonna just keep doing this little cycle of you know feed the big refinery get all the materials out of the big refinery feed it into the little thing until we've built this right that's basically the last time we need to be dealing with the the what do you call it the the health station the survivor pot survival kit ah. Uh, and just, as I say, feed the materials in. I, I feel like it doesn't know what I need. Yeah, that would have probably helped, you know, actually putting those into production. Like... I'm going to join those jobs, and... Okay, there's always more iron. Uh, that's just what it is, right, and now we've drawn some components, I'm going to go and feed them quickly into here, uh, at least we've got enough steel plate for the construction part of it, um, Did I not drop a block earlier on? I, I feel like there was one dropped. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, I'm just... Oh. Like, I'm, I'm positive. But uh, it's fine. Alright, okay, this is enough for this little run. Yeah, and the sun is setting, uh, I am aware. <clears throat> and this is fine, this is absolutely fine, like I am. 
Yeah, we're about an hour in, and we have, you know, a basic refinery running. We have... Just, you can just drag the whole block as well, I think. And we are very close to our first assembler. Um, and then I think a cargo container would be in order. Like, I, th I feel like sort of that would be a nice thing to have. Um... Uh, we'll, we'll see, right? We'll, we'll... I'm trying to get through this production run as best as I can. Uh, like, okay, we're gonna put the rest of those steel plates at the end. So I feel... It's just gone and wasted a whole bunch of iron for a steel plate that we don't even necessarily need right now. But, it's fine. I am not... It's fine. <laughs> it's just a little bit grindy, if you will. Right, but again, this is why I play the game. You know, there is these times where you're like, okay, I'm gonna have to do another run for this material. Where was that again? <laughs> um, and also, fairly important, just in case I lose my bearings, I, I would like to have a sort of navigational waypoint, right? And the way I like to do it, there's two ways, right? You can hit K, just from anywhere and hit and go on GPS and you know say uh, new from current position or something like that. I am I don't know. I, I am a console geek and I like to do some things like this. First base. Right. Boom. And now if we go and check under GPS, we actually have that guy sitting right there. Right. Right. Nice. Goody, 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 goody. Um, you should have... No, you have no more materials. What is the... What? How much did you construct for me? It looks better now. Like, it, it looks like it's making more of the things we need. Okay. F four motors. May need more stone. And yeah, one motor, come on. Come on, one more motor. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. No, like water. What are we? Okay, okay. It's a, it's another iron thing. And yeah, so it's, it's getting darker. Um, oh, I absolutely love the visuals in this game. Like, I don't know. It, it's lovingly crafted, and it's got everything I want from a game for geeks. Like, this is certainly something that is more for a geek. It's certainly not something that a casual player can just play for an hour here and there. Um, I mean, just look at the fact it took me about 8 plus hours just to get comfortable enough to say, okay, I, I can show someone else how this game works. Right, there's other games that I pick up in, yeah, quite, quite easily 5 minutes or so, you know. Um, and we're full. Uh, hopefully this should be the last iron run before we actually have the assembler running. Um, and as I say, if I can get a cargo container running for today, then I am a very happy novice. Come on. Yeah. Come on. It's, it's a bunny hop. Thank you. Go and put all that in there. And yeah, go and, go and run through that. Um, it was crafting other components. So let's have a quick look. Yeah, nothing too exciting for our build, I think. Nope. Still like <laughs> missing that one motor. <laughs> uh, gimme, gimme, gimme. I ain't got no time for waiting a bit. So, resources. Need. Production. One motor. Yes. Thank you. Withdraw. I'm gonna wait on those computers and that, but I think this... Nope. It really needs 49 computers. Okay. We're waiting on 49 computers being made by the survival kit. Uh, it's... It's doing it. Um... 
And we have enough for all the components for that part. Uh, we don't have enough steel plate to fully finish off, but not too worried. Like, the rest can come out the normal assembler in a minute. Like, this is going to be so much easier and quicker too. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to wait until all the computers are made. There's no fucking about it around that fact. Um, while we wait on that, I have a feeling we should have a few more resources. This may actually be exactly enough to get us going on the assembly. Would be nice. I, I, I don't really like the idea of not quite finished blocks. But yeah, it looks we have everything. Okay, cool. All components successfully withdrawn. Which means we now just and see that text right there? We've unlocked new blocks. That is exactly at the heart of what progression is all about. Right? So, for example, right, and it's a good example because in the next episode we're going to want one. Um, what if I said I wanted a programmable block? Well, it's not there. Well, okay, let's, let's look at progression. And then, yeah, it's too many M's. A program... Um, there is a program on a block, right? Okay, so what do we require for that? Uh, we require a basic assembler, which we've just done, right? So that's left us, uh, led us into this tier, which we can do interior turrets, we can do spotlights, things like that. Okay, nice. We can do interior lights, which then, or any of these blocks, as a matter of fact, you can build any of these, right? And it then leads you to the next further tree down. Which then leads to the programmable block. Um, interior light sounds interesting. Maybe we can make right. Let's let's try that. Now withdraw two construction components. Okay. So since we have literally just dumped ourselves all the resources back in this thing, let's let's go and fix that. We have nothing in production, correct? Let me just make sure. Well, that is fine because we're making that on the big guy. And then, come with me, please. Everything. All of you. You're all coming with me. Um, ice can stay there. Right, and what we're going to do... Oh. Right. Yeah, this is the refinery. But we also have access to the assembler. Right, and we can tell the assembler... Well, go and take... No, can you not? Oh, no, it's up here. Right, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, feed all those ingredients into... Feed that stone in there, and that gravel can go in there. But you know, there you go. Right, we, we fed the raw materials in there, and we've just said, okay, we want to build something, right? So it's still now a bit build planner. I can't withdraw them. Can I make them? Well, look at that. Right through the refinery into the other inventory, and they're already made. I'll place them. Place that right there, and then. We're gonna finish it. And there we go. And now we have theoretically access already to the programmable block. Don't need it right now. Um, we need a new quick bar. I'll, I like this quick bar for, for quick access. We need another one. Control 2. And you see that in the bottom left corner on the quick bar in the middle. Um, then you can just change over to a new quick bar. Let's go and populate it. Wait, did I not already? Yes, I did actually. Cargo container. Yes, I would like to build one. Right? This is going to be interesting. Yes, we're going to lack uh, and We're going to be lacking things, right? Um, also, I, I just want to make sure that we have literally no components here left in this. Oh, a bit of scrap that can come with us. Show you why. Um, just dump it in a refinery and it'll automatically convert it into the metal it came from. Like so. Boom. Done. Um, okay. We're gonna have to make all the components. Let's look at this. Right? And if you look at this now, it's so much quicker. Right. Although it does look like we may be lacking... Okay, so this is our 
first hurdle, right here, the 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 the, the girders. Oh no, grids actually, because they require cobalt, and we don't have access to cobalt right now. Not too much of a problem, because mind how I said is it the thrusters? Yes, it is the thrusters that hold the grid switches where it is for thrusters, which brings us exactly up to one cargo container. Alright, so we're going to slice them straight off. Alright, and since they're atmospheric thrusters, they don't actually contain any uh, components as such, right? Um, but okay, so if we then say it, don't ignore those, what is it we're really lacking? Iron, iron, and we've got the nickel for it. Well, guess what? Iron, we, we, we can do that. Fairly straightforward. Where's that tree? Where's the big hole? There's the big hole. We're going to go down to the bottom of the hole. And then just hit that left mouse click, uh, mouse button, or hold it. With the mine and uh, hand mine hand drill, and just mine for your life. And we will automate this in the next episode. I promise you, because there is no way I will spend the rest of my space engineer days in the bottom of the hole. Just no, 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 no. Right, but we we can safely f and totally ignore the spawn pod right because we can now go and say hey we're going to give you all that stone again and if i look at my production now and you can hear how the assembler only works every so often because it's getting the, the ingredients from the refinery one at a time so if it, it just takes them as they come in But we should be very, very soon. Like, I'm not even kidding. We should be very soon in a position where we have this current container build. See? And. Come on. One more. And there we go. We're going to go and withdraw all of those. It says they can't withdraw metal grids, which is fine, I have them. We have them literally on us. And... Boom. Cargo container built. And we have unlocked new blocks again, you know. And this is really at the heart of progression, that you really need your basic blocks, you know. Start there. Don't don't go looking for all the advanced stuff, you know, to really get you into the game and, and, and see, okay, what's the requirements for it? What do I need to be able to do before I can get to that stage, right? I would like to do one more thing. And this may present a problem. I need to look into ingredients quickly. Production. Uh, power cells. No, we can, we can make that. We can make power cells. Okay, so. This is literally the last task for today. This is... Then we can call it quits. I would like... <clears throat> this energy that we're making, I, w I would like, to, I, w I would like for that energy to go somewhere, right? So we're gonna build a battery, um, and we're just gonna plonk it like a layer sort of at the bottom, at ground level, if that makes sense, of just where the battery lives, right? Did we, by the way, that can go away now, right? Components added to the build planner. Well, guess what? What can we withdraw and what? There'll be a few things you have to make. And how bad is it? It's it's another iron. Okay. We're going to go and feed these components straight in here, quickly. What What is so heavy on my inventory? Oh my goodness, okay. It, it's... Go and put those away, please. I, I don't need them. Okay, now... We could also disassemble ingredients we already have, but I... Or disassemble, yeah, then I, I tend not to do that. So it defeats the whole purpose of having ground something down for the components. 
think in my eyes, like, it feels more wasteful to do that than... Um, then to just go and mine for more material and make the stuff. Right, okay, well, we've made quite a bit extra stone, but that's fine. Hang on, just... Oh, ooh, don't kill yourself, Sebastian. That'd be... Right before the end of the episode, that, that would suck. Um, put all that in there. And we're, we're not all that far off with the production. Almost tempted to say, go and make these quickly. Like, this, this stuff is very quickly made and then... Just wait for the steel plates to also be chewed through. Uh, and we're gonna just have to see. Um, almost tempted to just go back down there. Just to fill another inventory. Oh, find the bars. Always check your bars. And then, yeah, we're gonna fill one more inventory full with stone. Stick it in there. And then hopefully we have a functioning battery. And then I would call it good. Let's see here. A uh, few stones lying there, that's nice. Um, um, I'd like to flatten this out a bit more. And there's actually mods where you can get like a laser drill and you can make super precise shafts and that. Um, and we have the mod actually in our list, but not enabled on this particular save. But it's just... I feel like I wanted to show the vanilla thing first before we get too heavily into mods. Um, hence, you know, the, the whole thing of only selecting mods that I'll have sort of quality of life improvements rather than, you know, big honking extra blocks and all that. And we're just gonna sort of chip it off. <laughs> yeah. I don't like this area already. Uh, I may have plans for that. Possibly. Oh, we are crunched, that's why we're so slow. Let's go. Eh. Eat more stone in. Right, go and give me components, and then, yeah, you, you make as much as you can right now, and then we're going to just feed that in. Oh, you are literally dead stopped at those power cells, which is fine. Right, production, and you can see it's literally hinging all on this iron. so close. Ah, uh, that's it. Right, that's the motors. Give me them. Right, they're not motors. Power cells. Yeah, they are big in the inventory, by the way. Make no mistake. And then, yeah, the last of the steel plate is just for integrity again. But they should be almost done, I imagine. Like, steel plate is one of the quicker ones. Oh, fuck. Really, it's gonna hinge on 20 steel plate. You... Right, I mean, we, we have a battery, right? And so the, these have a control panel. It's a little bit buried, but we will take care of that in the next episode when we're actually gonna have a control seed and we're gonna see things in a little bit more in overview. But... You can hit K, K on that, and it's going to tell you it's going to be fully recharged in six hours. You know, um, 
what the current input is, what the current output is. So we are using at the moment one kilowatt hour and we are supplying 417 kilowatt hours with that wind turbine on. You know, this is a nice thing in the control panel. You can see all your blocks that are connected to that grid. Anything that is connected indirectly to the grid would be in a different color. I think it's a sort of orangey. Uh, I, would, I would need to ask my wife next time I see her. Um, but yeah, so we can see that, again that this wind turbine is producing that 417 kilowatts. Um, what our inventory looks like. You know, all these nice things. Also, I would like the light to be really, like, stupidly bright. And oh yeah. uh, it's a quadratic fall of normally. Yes. Right. But sort of the point is that A we can see the base fairly good um and so while I'm building it you can actually sort of make outboss happen, right? But yeah, I think that is us for today. Uh, in the next episode, we are going to basically replace. There's two things we need to replace on the base that we need to uh, we need to install on the base before the base is fully functional. And one of them is the O2H2 generator, and the other one is literally the survival kit, but for the big grid, right? That that is literally the two blocks. We have a battery. Um, you know, we 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 have access now to conveyors. We we have. We don't need a beacon, you know, there's nothing in here really that is now new to us, okay? So I can take the ingredients or the components that are in here and we can use them to build out the base. And then we're going to flesh out the sort of base area, you know, the ground area of the base a little bit more. Um, place a few things and yeah, get a bit more energy going or even power going and all those nice little things. I'm going to show you a few more concepts and things to do. And yeah, we're going to build a base. I hope everyone's picked, uh, took something away from this and learned something new maybe about the game. On maybe how to do things. On yeah, how progression works, you know. And you know, this is the year 2022. Space Engineer has been, Space Engineers has been around since 2013. And the game has moved on a lot, and so I think it's absolutely valid to have a new tutorial video. And so this is 2022 a Space Engineer's Odyssey. Peace out.